Recently, Lake Warren residents were invited to enjoy a popular music festival that also acted as a fundraiser. On Friday, July 30th, Tommy Stock kicked off at the Fire Bowl at Camp Agawam and continued throughout the weekend. The music festival began in 2015 as a fundraiser to allow the friends of Camp Agawam to make improvements to the amphitheater. A lot of the people who grew up here on Tommy's Lake, uh, we'd get together and, and play music and buy a campfire. And in 2015, when the, uh, when the township bought this beautiful piece of property and we found out that it was available to be rented, uh, we said, hey, why not try to have Tommy stock over, over there instead of over in, in our friend's yard? And, and it, was, it was honestly born from that and, and has grown into the, the nonprofit that uh, raises money to give back to this, to this beautiful camp to do restorations like this uh, beautiful uh, new, new stone steps and the, the mezzanine that, that we built. So we've come a long way since our first one in 2015 for sure. Things kicked off on Friday night with the band No Money Down. They were the first of approximately 20 bands that performed throughout the weekend in the intimate setting. Musicians also performed at the Tiki Bar located near the shore of Tommy Lake. So all the proceeds from, from this event, all, our, all the uh, money we raise at the beer tent, the tiki bar, um, for ticket sales, all, all is going to come back to improvements down here. We want to, uh, we want to make a more permanent stage, get a, a permanent covering for the stage so we're not putting a tent over it. Uh, we, want, we need to upgrade the power, permanent lighting, concession stands. So we've got a lot of, a lot of projects to do out here. So we're just going to continue to raise money, have fun in the process, and, and continue to build this place up. The weekend wrapped up on Sunday, August 1st when Camp Agawam turned into a sea of pink for the afternoon. The Real Men of Orion hosted their second annual Boobs, Tubes and Dudes fundraiser supporting breast cancer awareness. Lake Orion residents were invited out to Camp Agawam for food, drinks and live music. So the Real Men of Orion is a, um, it became or grew out of Real Men Wear Pink of Oakland County, which is five years running in Oakland County. And um, so all the money that we raise through the Real Men of Orion for this event and for all of our events goes to the American Cancer Society uh, and it goes to the Making Strides Division. So basically their mission is to help people who are fighting breast cancer with um, lodging, food, therapy, um, counseling, whatever they need to help make the burden a little less as they're going through this traumatic uh, traumatic experience. Um, and then they also, some of the money does go to research through them as well. So the American Cancer Society is our partner in everything we do for uh, Real Men Wear, uh, Real Men Wear Pink, Real Men of Orion. Um, that's, uh, that's what it's all about. The group decided not to set a fundraising goal since all donations are appreciated when the cause is so important. It's a great cause. I'm actually a breast cancer survivor. So I love that um, these guys work so hard to put this event together and go out on the lake and float, listen to live music. It's a great day, it's a great time. Camp Agawam is a beautiful space in Lake Orion that I think more people need to know about. The day concluded with all participants gathering on Tommy's Lake in an effort to form the world's largest pink floating party. Yeah, the first year that we did it was at Greens Park, um, and it worked really well, but it was at the towards the end of September um, because uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month is actually in October. Um, but they wanted to get started a little bit earlier this year. This event is a lot of fun. It's one that was really well received by the community. Um, so they wanted to try to move it up this year, and it turned out to be really great. Um, this just offers them a little bit more freedom to do some other things, um, like selling drinks and stuff like that is always something that you want to have on the beach. Um, wasn't able, We weren't able to do that the last time, um, so that's something that we were able to add this year. Um, it's a little bit more tucked back um, instead of right in the middle of downtown. Parking is a little bit easier. There's not as many hoops to jump through. Um, plus, we get to work with the Friends of Camp Agawam who are graciously donating all of the proceeds that um, come today. Um, so that's really, really great too, being able to work with another, um, with another charity in the community. So, Well, it was a beautiful day on Tommy's Lake for this fundraiser today, and if you weren't able to make it out, you can still donate on their website at therealmenoforian.com. For ONTV News, I'm Lauren Creighton.